Welcome in, guys, once again. Welcome to the YGO Fresh Off the Press community, where we analyze the current post trends and forecast of the Yu Gi Oh! markets. Welcome in to all the new members of our community. Thank you so much for subbing, you know, liking the videos, commenting. That's what we're here for to make sure that we help out the community. So I really appreciate the love, the support, the energy, the vibes, everything. You guys are amazing, guys. Today is all about cards that we can snatch up, cards that we can, you know, before they, they rise so i want to make sure that i point you guys to those cards guys so remember guys subscribe don't forget to smash the subscribe button like this video as it helps the algorithm find more people that can enjoy our Yu Gi Oh informative content and click the notification bell so stay tuned to keep up with our latest informative fresh off the press videos guys thank you so much for all you do remember this content is not official financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only guys so immediately we start off you know we start off with the first card again here we have divine arsenal double a zeus the sky thunder hey look at that guys look at that card is expensive is getting up there's around that 40 41 dollars per copy so again it's all about you know if you need it if you need the card then you need to expose yourself to it you need to gain access to it so it's definitely a copy that you want to keep in mind of course like most cards you have re, uh, you know other printings you have an ultra rare which is about 20 bucks so not bad that's the budget version you know and then you have the, the max rarity so i just took the mid level you know the mid max rarity for you guys today but again ultra rare budget but the secret looks nice first ed original print you can see is going up now again guys you never know right konami might decide to reprint you know this in the next upcoming reprint set or you know you never know in an ots uh you know as a common or a super i mean you never know right i doubt it as a common maybe as a super you just never know so you have to be careful but if you really need the card then definitely you know this is a copy to consider and there's 14 listings so it's definitely going you know out of stock per se only two pages and uh yeah definitely a card to Keep in mind if you need it snatch it up and again we have a budget version as well uh so it's definitely one that you want to consider and then the ultimate rear bling as well so here we do see 21 22 bucks not bad plenty of listings so if you need the card then go get it you know if you if you know you need to do so so we go to ultimate slayer i mean thank you so much for the comment in our previous video you know one of our previous videos um shout out to him for saying you know ultimate slayer is a great underrated sleeper card you know what i mean it's just 15 16 bucks here as we can see you know if we clean up this you know these listings janitor style uh look at that look at that guy 16 bucks 17 uh but it quickly goes up to 18 and eventually 20 guys so i mean when you see 100 uh, under 100 listings guys you want to make sure you keep in mind that you know that people are buying this card and it's broken and, and if you do see you know previously you had higher prices right so it's definitely a card that you know if you read the effect it's like a deep barrier but a spell per se you know um, it has a couple of differences but you know what i mean it's a great card secret rare from power of the elements no reprint yet so definitely a card again you want to keep in your radar you know there's a lot of cards and that's the episode about today there's a lot of cards there's so many cards man so many Yu-Gi-Oh cards it's hard to like you know keep up with you know the new sets and the old sets and the meta and the casual and this that and the other so you want to make sure that's what we're here for to make sure we pop these out in this particular case i want to thank you know um um our community member for pulling this up you know um next time i'll make sure to shout out the name that's my bad but you know the whole point is great card guys great card to have access to then we have illusion of chaos same deal same deal was one of our other community members they're like hey you know can you review this card as a great card underrated so shout out to them and it's true great card and it's rising again if you feel like you need this card sometimes is you know is meta relevant other people just like it because it's dark magician you know support um again under 50 listings if we clean this janitor style up you know we again 40 dollars for a card not many you know look at this all these you know individual sellers and things of that nature but uh, the gold star sellers start at $45 a pop. So if you clean this up, 34 listings, guys. Look at that. Great card. No reprint from Battle of Chaos. Um, you know, you see the trend in the last three months. It was a $27, $25 card. And now is all the way up to $45. Wow. So basically, it's almost a double up. You know what I mean? So that is definitely a considerable jump, guys. Wow. Great card. You know, works with Magician Souls um, as well. Um, so definitely a card 
that if you need it and you want access to you know you can get it other people just like collecting dark magician stuff as well so right now again you never know i mean it's a single print card it might get reprinted soon or not right no one knows so you know as long as you know the price right now and it's all about need you know maybe you need it you don't mind you know the price um or you want to wait off for the reprint who knows right but great card great secret rare plenty of potential even to come into you know into relevancy in the meta scene you know what i mean so illusion of chaos guys you know abyss deals you know it's been having a lot of sales lately um as you can see here uh, and this is just the cheapest one um common again just wanted to highlight this card around 40 listings at 20 cents 21 cents it can't get any cheaper than that you know some people again this is not one of the most broken ones obviously um but you know some people are just again access it's all about access to cards you know right now eh, common i don't need it right now okay might be true but you know you never know maybe this card becomes relevant you know what i mean and and people start using it more in decks and things of that nature and then you know this 20 cent common or a quarter a pop you know becomes a dollar card and that's 4x you know if you had a play set then or four of them you use one and trade or sell three or you know vice versa you know it, man it can't get any better than that so definitely a card that i wanted to highlight i mean some people get lost in all commons and things but there's some commons that you know they do get up there so one day actually i want to do that i want to create a market watch just commons only just for funsies and actually see if we can find value you know in those type of cards guys moving over to lord of the heavenly prison guys definitely a card that we've reviewed before you know right now there's the supplies coming back into the market there's a couple of copies at four bucks almost five and then really at five bucks as you can see not that many you know copies here with these sellers but you know if you clean this up we do see 75 listings not too much not too little i mean so definitely to keep in mind but the upswing already happened now you know you have the replenishment of the card into the markets um you know and then eventually it'll find the floor and it's just a great card it's a prismatic secret rare one that we've reviewed in the past definitely want to make sure i highlight it again because you want to snatch these up again if you don't have your copies then definitely at least get that and then you can also invest with an additional place or who knows even rule of nine so let's see how low it goes right now is a four or five dollar card but it's really really a great card you know um uh, trap decks some people run it with sub terrors trap tricks labyrinth i mean it just protects your cards you know what your, your back row and really it's hard when you have lightning storm harpy's feather duster you know what i mean and 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 twin twisters and all this you know back row hate and and spell and trap uh destruction you want to make sure that you have cards like this you know to stay one step ahead of the game guys then we move on to triple tactics talents again look at that uh, it comes from Magnificent Mavens. We're going to be doing a market watch exclusively for this set. So stay tuned with some penny stonks. Great value there. That's coming down the line. As you guys already know, we're pushing out content, pushing out videos on the daily, guys. Daily market watch just to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction. So that's what we're here for, guys. So stay tuned for that. But again this is a meta relevant card again it hit 18 dollars. now it's retracing back a little bit down to 16 but again that's great that's great it gives you guys you know you guys a chance if you don't have access to this card to snipe these up to snatch them and you know if you're not using all your copies then you can slap them in the binder as well and then they'll gain value most likely unless you get another reprint soon you know in the next couple of weeks to the next couple of months so it's not a bad idea this card you never know you never know it, it might double up from 15 to 30 you know if it gets high and you know events come around and uh, things of that nature so it's always good to have access to meta relevant cards so this is one that you should definitely keep in mind right at around 100 101 listings well probably less if you clean this up yeah wow 72 listings so you know people gobbling this up and then you obviously have the different rarities you know another ultra but the bling is around you know 55 dollars so definitely a card to keep in mind nibiru is also one of those cards again you know we've mentioned it in one of our past market watches but it's such a relevant card you know personally at locals yesterday i used this card it's just broken if it goes off it just does what it's there to do you know what i mean if we clean this up we can see that the listings are drying up at around 84 you know of course there's a lot of sellers that were ready things of that nature so it's just above four dollars for this card but that's an easy five dollar card and who knows it might be it might be um again it might be what a, a ten dollar card soon right you never know as well you never know as well so it's something to definitely 
that you guys can keep in mind then fusion deployment guys fusion fusion deployment you definitely want to have access to this card guys um you know again tw it came in the 2021 10 so it might not seem like it but you know that's already what a couple of years is it a couple of years because last year in 2022 years like a year year and a half already man it's, it's been a while and you see the pump now is retracing and again the same deal you want to make sure you have access to this card guys look at that want to make sure you have access if we clean this up two dollars and 25 cents not many listings on the first page well here down here yeah so it's easily a two dollar and fifty cents card i mean some biz deals uh, uh branded despias you know there's so many mixes with decks right uh you know branded uses this so you make one you know you want to make sure that you have your copies secret rare prismatic again easy pickings for a card like this if you don't have your copies you might want to you know snatch these up so this tramp uh, guys can you help me with this name please that's trap tantalizing tune Jeez, i tried i tried i gave it my best shot guys so um we do see here that basically it came in the structure deck so it's a sleeper not many people talking about this card other than like trap tricks players and things of that nature but the card is good it says discard one level four insect or plant monster but really what matters or one normal trap and then draw two cards man that that's pretty uh general in a sense right uh you know it, it's good for paleo too paleozoics man with toad i used to play run that deck back in the day i imagine this card they're not bad at all you discard and draw two you know basically basically you get to cycle through your deck so definitely a good card to keep in mind again it just came out right now you know in the structured deck so there's plenty plenty of supply but that makes it even better again if you can snatch this card up get your play set maybe rule of nine it, it doesn't hurt because who knows when this specific you know card gets reprinted so you definitely want to make sure that you guys get access to this card so great card you know one that i again is a sleeper in my opinion it does come in a structured deck so you know i don't expect it to be a five or ten dollar card anytime soon but you never know if it might be one buck two bucks a couple of bucks then that's what five six x your investment not bad at all and you know you never know when you find yourself playing a, a trap deck as well if you're not right now then you have this card and if you are then you have access to it so that's a plus plus win win situation for you guys so we went over Raigeki recently but today i just want to emphasize once again just the importance you know the importance to getting access to this card look it's already a dollar 20 okay and it's a common and Raigeki is just money guys i want to highlight money when i see it and you know Raigeki all copies were you know above three four bucks and now with the reprint some of them have gone down but i mean not really most of them have have held strong their price so you want to make sure again i'm a big access dude you know you just want to have access to the card be able to go into your binder you know snatch it up put it put it in your deck and then even have extras you know to trade to sell and things of that nature so Raigeki is one of those card people sleeping on it why because they buy three structured decks everyone has the card it's a common it's easy to get no one cares about it right now but you know one month two months three six nine a year goes by and then up oh, those structured decks now are hard to get and then Raigeki uh, is also hard to get and now right geki's being played at three in the side deck because we got a new you know a set that has these broken monsters but they can be destroyed by your right geki and now everyone needs it right and then the one dollar common becomes a two three dollar who knows even a five dollar common you never know with cards like these right so you want to be ahead of the game and that's what we're here for guys so moving on the same goes for harpy feather duster is one of those cards again right geki is at three this is just at one but you want to have access to it you never know you know what i mean so you get a couple of copies slap these in the binder and live with those results then evenly match same deal comes in the structure deck look at that guys it's beautiful to have such a broken card be first of all holographic super rare and then just be under four bucks man that's nice 11 12 bucks you know give or take just over 10 gets you that place and make sure you guys have access to it guys you don't want to be you know on the other side of the fence where i'll get it later these are supers they're cheap and then as a ten dollar card again you know what i mean and then for an investment purpose you know as an investment purposes uh purpose or side you know a note that i wanted to make sure i mentioned you can invest in this card again you put 10 12 bucks into it and that's an easy 20 to 25 dollars in a couple of months i mean it is because then it'll get hard to get the structured deck but you already have your place set to play and maybe you have extras right and then you can get your money back for the place that you're playing with and even some extra money you know to get you some chips or drink while you're in a tournament or just that extra cash and 
attention never hurts right so you definitely want to make sure you pay attention to this card then parallel x seed guys i heard you know that some people play it with um trap tricks i believe so um so prismatic secret looks beautiful again from the 2021 10 you do see the spike here to five bucks all the way from one dollar under two dollars and right now is right under five bucks so it's still there definitely a card that you know if you play trap tricks you want to have access to and it's broken it's, it has a great effect um you know it, it comes down it's special summons and then searches for more copies of itself um you know and things of that nature so uh you, you know you definitely want to have access to this card you know what i mean it's a great card prismatic secret rare you know it comes in a set from a year year and a half ago so you know make sure you have access to this so lightning storm uh from the past tens guys broken broken card this past 10 you know 2022 we made we reviewed this card in one of our previous vid videos that got great feedback you can check that as well check that out um if you haven't done so already but this card is just so good man broken cards like these meta relevant meta defining cards you want to make sure you have access to these of course there's ultra rares there's you know uh pharaoh's rares and starlights and and this and that and the other but prismatic secret they give you that balance between budget and mid to max rarity right so that's where it's at that perfect balance when you see the card you get what i mean man it just looks beautiful so right now look it's already bumped up a buck since last time we covered it and you know one of these days is gonna easily be a 15 dollars card who knows if even 20 so if you don't have the card almost under 100 listings and i know if we clean that up it'll be so you definitely want to have access to spellbound i really wanted to cover this card because i'm really at a personal level focusing on this card broken card someone used it on me playing on on uh you know playing Yu-Gi-Oh on the app on the desktop app that i showed you in one of our previous episodes and it was broken i was locked i couldn't do anything i was surprised i'm like man let me get me a place out of this man just slap it in the binder i snatched this car up quickly it's about a six dollar card again it comes in dark wing blast only printing first that original print and again it was a card that when it came out it was money you know and then and now it's you know consolidating here this is when you want to get the card when no one wants it people lose interest no one cares you care right you get your place set slap three more in a binder rule it if you can uh, or just get a, an extra copy or two here and there just whatever you can just make sure first you have access to it and second you have those extras you know to make up for the access that you have and then just plus you want to plus out here man you want to make sure you can trade sell hustle and plus that's the name of the game then we also have small world another card that goes in you know uh, specific strategies but it's a card that was going up it went up to almost six bucks now it's had that retracement and, and that's where you want to come in when you see those spikes if you didn't have the card okay you didn't plus but when you see these retracements that's when you want to get access to the card again it's a four dollar card other than these couple of listings so again same deal you want access to it you get your play set and then get some to trade it to sell if you can but really really good card good effect only has two printings so you definitely want to make sure you keep that in mind goals and match guys we're going to be coming out with an episode about floodgates probably next week so keep an eye out for that guys we're going to cover this card again and all the different printings um you know there can be only one a rivalry just so many great floodgates out there for people like me that play sub terrors or other people that play floodgates they're just broken and if they're not banned and they're legal so we definitely need to make sure we cover those um but for now goals and match look at that look at that spike it used to be a dollar dollar 25 card and now basically went up a buck look and if you clean these listings uh, let's see and without pictures that's under that's 80 i mean under 100 listings a two dollar two dollar and fifty cent card not bad at all to get access to this card of course there's super rares i believe so yeah there's commons um so there's plenty of in ways to go of printings but the, you know ultra rare from this not bad not bad it looks clean by the way same for dd crow we're definitely going to be covering battles of legend crystal revenge soon so stay tuned video coming out probably later this week so another card hand trap you want to have access to it under a dollar no excuses can be made to not have this card ghost bell and droll guys the draw is the rare ghost bell as a common and then dd crow i'm giving you guys all budget options obviously these cards have alternate rarities but again dollar cards dollar here and dollar here look at these just three hand traps that are dollars 10 bucks gets you play sets of all three guys that's just amazing 
it's mind boggling. And, and there's no way that these don't go up in my humble opinion, because hand traps always stay relevant and then they're easy to get now, but then they're hard to get later. Guys, if you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Welcome to the community, guys. You guys are amazing. Like the video it helps the algorithm. I would also appreciate that, guys. So thank you so much once again. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time, attention, your support, and I hope you guys have a good one.